Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B1 from Potsdam 2023. Consider an m by n grid of unit squares indexed by ij with i between 1 and m and j between 1 and n. There are m minus 1 by n minus 1 coins which are initially placed in the squares ij with i between 1 and m minus 1, j between 1 and n minus 1. If a coin occupies the square ij with i less than or equal to m minus 1 and j less than or equal to n minus 1 and the squares i plus 1 j i j plus 1 and i plus 1 j plus 1 are unoccupied then a legal move is to slide the coin from i comma j to i plus 1 comma j plus 1 how many distinct configurations of coins can be reached starting from an initial configuration by possibly empty sequence of legal moves okay so let's start looking at this game and understand what we are actually trying to do. So let's say this side is M and this side is length N. So what they do is they place coins in this M minus one by N minus one grid. And then the top is empty. And what they do is they're going to slide the coins so for example you have a coin right here you can slide it to this position and after you're moving this one then you can take this coin because now that that has been moved you can move this coin or this coin so one of those two coins can be moved so the first thing that i did was i evaluated this one for two by one and that's not very difficult to evaluate because for two by one you know exactly what you'd have to do the first thing that you can do is to move this one and the last thing that you can do is to move this one so if this is 2 and this is n then there would be n moves that you can make and then plus the empty move i was hoping that i can find a recursion for this but finding a recursion proved to be not very easy at least i couldn't find a recursion so i'm curious if you're able to find a recursion put your solution in the comments the next thing that I thought was that, well, looking at the empty spots, what happens when I move a coin? So initial empty slots are going to give me something like this. This is the initial empty slots. After I move one coin, which would be this one, then the empty slots give me something like this. So one observation that is very easy to see is that the empty slots are always going to give us a path. The very first position right here is always going to remain empty. Nothing can be moved to here because there's nothing to the left of it. And this slot is always going to remain empty because there is nothing below it. Those two slots are always going to remain empty. And what happens is that after every move, because what happens is this coin is moved to here that means these three empty slots are replaced by these three empty slots which means the cells that are all empty give you a path from point a to point b so that means the maximum number of possible positions is the number of paths from a to b how many paths do we have from a to b well we have n minus or m minus one uh, rights that we have to make and we have n minus one down that we have to go so we are making m plus n minus two moves and from these m minus n minus two moves m minus one should be to the right so what does that mean? It means the maximum number of positions that we have is going to be m plus n minus 2 choose m minus 1. But do we actually obtain every single one of these moves? Well, the answer is yes if you think about this one. So take a path that is a path of all the empty slots and we're going to start from this path and we're going to go back to the original position so we know that this corner is going to have the property that if I take the coin right here there's a coin that is placed right here this coin could be moved to this corner and when I do that 
then the path is going to become something like this. And this becomes closer to the original, original path of the empty slots, which was like this. So if you start from a path that is not the original path, there would have to be a corner like this, which means you can push the coin down, and that means you can repeat that, and because this is a finite game, you can eventually get to a position that uh, does not have a corner like this. So that means every single one of these paths can be updated. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I will see you next video.